What's up, guys? I got a Sensu Bean right here. My buddy came back from Puerto Rico, and he said, dude, you got to try these. These are called Cunepas, and I've never had one of these in my entire life until today. So I'm going to give it a try. Now, the way he did it, you just get a little nibble, and you pop it open. See that? It's like a little paintball. Dude, this is the weirdest fruit. This is the weirdest, man. There's a seed in the middle. There's literally more seed than there is fruit. It's delicious, though. It tastes like a... Uh, it tastes like an apple and a pear combined. What's that candy? What's that? There's, it's like a, there's a huge seed in the middle. And it's, like there's, it's like a fruit cup. Consistency on the outside. I mean, you just gotta like bite it off. That was good. Cunepas. Guy, that's probably the best tasting like fruit, it tastes like an apple, I'm telling you, it tastes like an apple and a pear. It's really cool. Drinking ginger tea. So, today, my buddy, he was telling me, uh, we were getting into it talking the other day, and he said he had saw this show, and it was about some girl that would go, she was like a zombie, She would, and then she would eat these people. And then whatever, whatever person she, she would eat the brains of people, right? Whatever the brain she would eat, that whole person, that person's thoughts, that person's, uh, like, knowledge and skills, their personality, she would take, right? She was, she would get that. She's kind of like Kirby, <laughs> you know, Kirby, in a sense. Um, so, yeah, she would, like, download their brain just by eating it. Weird concept. I don't know if I'm saying, I don't know what show this is or if I'm even saying that correctly, but, uh, and I was thinking about that and I was like, dude, and he, and he mentioned me, he was like, dude, that's the same thing that books are. Same thing books are doing. When you read a book, you're literally downloading the content into your brain from this author. And, and I was like, yeah, I agree. You're right. And then we kind of started talking about it a little more and a new concept, a new aspect of reading that I haven't really thought about is when a writer sits down to write, right, he's bringing all his emotions, all his stuff to this book, his, his uh, way of attacking the day, of handling people. You know, maybe you're reading about an author that gets really mad and agitated at people and has a short temper. And, you know, that's going to come out in the book. So it's very cool. And, it, you know, you want to be careful the kind of books you read. Uh, like I said, learn from the best. We want to learn from the best. So some of the greatest minds, these men have, these women have sat down, sat down and wrote some of the greatest books of all time. And they are literally putting themselves in that book, man. Their, their mind, their spirit is literally in that book. And when I sit down to read that, give me one second. So by reading, we download these minds and even their humor their their little mannerisms right there uh the way they handle the world the way they handle people social situations uh everything man just you get the spirit of the man the spirit of the woman so another thing about reading people say you know reading is important but is it that important you know why not 
listen to audiobooks. Well, true, listen to audiobooks, right? Or, or I don't, you know, I don't see the point. I could just watch a video, um, you know, hear someone tell me, talk. But listen here, the very act, just the act of sitting, the process of getting my mind, my mental state in, in this uh, state where I'm just going to sit down and read a book, I think that has very, that's, I'm, I'm telling my mind, all right, I'm ready to sit down and ready to learn. So I probably shouldn't be making these videos at work, but I had that fruit and I wanted to show you guys, and I was definitely not going to wait to for later to eat that fruit, so that was a nice little treat. Uh, but the act of sitting down, the process of getting my mind in the state where it's like, okay, I'm going to dedicate some time to diving in this book and to learning something new. And I'm telling you that conditioning yourself to do that is tough, but very worth it. Very, yeah, sitting down to read, you know, sitting down to read is tough. Um, another thing I've been experimenting with when I read is reading more than one book at, at a time or in the same time period. And like right now I'm reading the art, the War of Art, Stephen Pressfield. I just finished. Great book, guys. Along with the one thing you've seen a few of my videos I've been making with that. Um, I started a book, Never Eat Alone, and I'm also reading, just like like going back to Seneca. Um, I'm reading fiction, White Fang, Jack London. So very cool. And when you combine these books at a time, what I've been noticing is that it has this like synergistic effect very profound effect I got this this insight from the one thing about doing the one thing daily and then Stephen Pressfield over here in the war of art what he has to say about the resistance and when you combine these two thoughts uh, they're kind of you know to enter to let these thoughts mesh in your head and you come up with these great new uh, or these connections. It's phenomenal. Very profound. Uh, I encourage you to pick up more than one book at once. Start reading more than one book at a time. Very cool effect. And I'll leave you guys with this. I kind of want to talk about it. Pablo Picasso, the great artist, right? Million dollar paintings. He says, great artist copy. I'm sorry, good artist copy. Good artist copy, great artist steal. Think about that. That's super cool. And back to reading, guys, from the best, from the top. When it comes to taking on a new adventure, when it comes to doing something new, you, you know, a lot of us, we have this thought where we got to just create something, right? It has to be our own design. It has to be our own invention. But... Think about that quote, man. Good artists copy, great artists steal. If I'm trying to get good at, at bodybuilding, I'm not going to want to learn from some young guy that, you know, I mean, that just started himself. I want to learn from Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, don't even watch me, guys. Don't listen to my workout. Go learn from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get his encyclopedia. Good artists copy, great artists steal. If you want to learn how to design a web page, if you're, you got a supplement site, Right, you're designing a website selling supplements. Bodybuilding.com is at the top of the charts, man. Top of the game, selling probably a, uh, that's got to be a billion dollar company, man. Well, a billion dollars is a hard, a hell of a lot of money to make, but they're they got to be close. So why do am I why am I looking at like some poverty uh, supplement site like I'll pump you up or you know? Whatever. So just some. I want to go straight to the top. Learn from the very best. If I'm be, going to become an actor, well, why am I? I wouldn't look to these local. These local actors, right? I'm copy from, from like, I don't know any great actors, but you get what I'm saying. Good artists copy. Great artists steal. <sighs> steal from the best. You know, use what's working. Use what they're doing, the same format, the same frameworks, the mindsets from the very top, guys. It's it's kind of foolish to think that we have to just create, invent, and learn from 
our own life, our own minds, right? That will limit you greatly, right? We need to take on some of the greatest concepts, the greatest thoughts. So great artists copy, great artists steal, Pablo Picasso. Man, I walk around with that quote in my head these days. This is a uh, real cool, real cool talk, guys. So Kunapas and downloaded books, equipping yourself tool kit, ah, the tool belt, books, man, I'm pulling from here, I'm pulling from here, quotes, 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 I hate to just give my own opinions, you know, you don't want to debate with anyone and be, just come from your own opinions, you want to pull from the greats, <laughs> hit them with quotes from the best of the minds in the world, so I'll see you guys soon, please